Hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to install GNS3 new version. Okay, the GNS3 new version is 2.2.22 now, the latest version. You can download it from GNS3 website. Okay, and you can go to www.gns3.com and then you go to software and then you can download your software there. It is free for download, okay, and also you can download uh, GNS3 VM as well. And if you want to use with VMware, you could go for VMware Workstation. If you are using VirtualBox, you go for VirtualBox uh, uh, version. Okay. For me, I have downloaded already um, GNS3 VM as well as GNS3 software. So first of all, I will add this GNS3 to VMware. Okay. So I will open my VMware workstation and then I go open virtual machine okay and then i go to my software and then gns3 where is my gns3 here and then this is the new version okay then i select gns3 vm i just extra extract from the uh, zip okay so i click open and then i click uh, uh, no, before I click import, I want to browse to my new uh, destination first. I want to store all my virtual machine on drive D and VM. Okay, VM, where's VM? Here. Okay, I want to store all here. So once again, I open my virtual machine and then I click on GNS3 VM file, then open. Then it will be import to this uh, folder, okay, in drive D. Then I click import. Okay, it's done. And then uh, in VMware, I have uh, I have changed some virtual network editor. You know, I have changed like this. Actually, by default, it has uh, VMnet zero, VMnet one, and VMnet eight. So I removed all the three VMs. Okay, and then I created this uh, VMnet. VMnet 2, I bridge to wireless, my wireless adapter. VMnet 3, I bridge to my cable network adapter. And VMnet 4, I bridge to my loopback adapter 1. VMnet 5, I bridge to my loopback adapter 2. VMnet 9, I select to the host only. VMnet 10, I select to the net only. Why I I changed the NAT and the host because um, there was some problem with uh, connecting from GNS3 software to GNS3 VM. Not always, but sometimes with uh, the default of the host and the NAT. So the solution uh, I have found uh, is that. We removed the VMnet 1 and VMnet 8 and then we create any of the VM, okay? And then you select host and select NAT. And then you will you will also need to change the GNS3 VM uh, here to point to the host and the NAT, okay? So I already uh, created the VMnet 9 and 10 so I just click OK and then I go to v GNS3 VM then I go to edit my VM here this is the host adapter 
By default, it is selected the host only. It means that it's connected to the VM net one by default. So I don't want to use that. I use custom, and then I I select VM net nine for the host only. Okay, because by default this is the host only. So I select the host, and then uh, adapter two. It's by default it is selected uh, as a net so I change from this to custom then I select net okay and then in GNS3 VM I also want to have another network adapter as well so I can add network adapter okay so this network adapter, I can uh, point it to VM Net4, VM Net3, or VM Net2 whenever uh, I want to uh, implement the network in GNS3. So uh, right now, I I will select VM Net4 as my loopback adapter one. Okay, as you seen just now. So yes, yeah, that's all then i click ok and then we go back to our software then we can install our genus 3 right now okay just follow the instruction okay and then i just want to uh, take out only wireshark because i would i don't want to use wireshark right now I will use it later when I want to capture the packet. You know what is the Wireshark software using for, right? It's, it's, it's using for capturing the packets when you want to access uh, the traffic. You can capture it by using this Wireshark, but I don't want to use it right now. So I after I check out, then I uh, click next, and then I next. Just uh, uh, following the instruction. If you if you will uh, if you ask for the installing some other software like here is the Win PCAP is the driver that uh, using for connecting the network or using the telnet. If you want to telnet from your Windows 10 to uh, Genesis 3 software, it will be using this driver. Okay. So just install this, and then this NPCAP also as a driver. Then just install it. Okay, and then go next. Finish. Yeah, for Solar PT. For Solar PT is the software that you can configure uh, all the nodes in GNS3 okay all the nodes in GNS3 uh, this solar putty you can have like a, a tape as your web browser okay like router 1 router 2 router 3 uh, router 4 you can have a tape like uh, like a web browser okay if you don't want to use you can uncheck when you install like uh, you are untick or uncheck the wireshark but i prefer to use solar putty now because it's easily to just select the tape for router one router two or router three so here i just give my email address okay and then I click continue. Yeah, now we are done. SolarWind I don't want to use. Okay, we start Genus 3. Close it. So now we are done installing the Genus 3. One more thing. One more thing, uh, you need to go to you need to go to firewall, advanced settings, inbound rules, new rules, 
you need to add a port okay for allowing uh, GNS3 to talk with GNS3 VM okay like 3080 okay the port number okay all allow I just uh, note it GNS3 port because some windows you need to allow the port number if you don't allow the port number it won't uh, run the GNS3 VM you know so yeah this is the setup wizard you need to run on GNS3 VM so select here then next here you see the port number it's required okay that's why I want to add on the firewall uh, this is my PC name I did not uh, change my PC name yet so this is my PC name so then I click next and then I click uh, next and then uh, I'm using GNS3 VM my VMware okay I'm using my VMware recommended okay then I click next then finish just wait then we can click finish it is connecting to the GNS3 VM right now okay through the port uh, 3080 you see this is opening the the GNS3 VM it's opening right now and uh, it is start talking from GNS3 to the GNS3 VM you see this is the GNS3 VM is starting okay this is a uh, GNS3 VM is behind here okay click finish you see the green light so the green button you see so the green here is mean that all are working fine you know all are working fine this is my PC this is GNS3 VM if you see the gray if you see the gray one it's mean that uh, GNS3 VM is not working okay that's why uh, some of you uh, having problem uh, with the green and gray so my suggestion is to add another port like here okay to add another port like here and also uh, edit your virtual network editor okay as my recommendation as my experience okay so yes then the after we finished installed the software we need to add the router we don't have the router and we don't have the manage switch okay so yeah I go to edit preference I OS router then I click new I run all the my all my routers ISO on VMware okay I'm not running on my PC because I want to save my CPU usage okay so I run on GNS3 VM next I browse to my software where is it here GNS3 here this is a C7200 router okay I prefer this uh, uh, router I like it okay so I always use gigabit Ethernet and I always want to have four interfaces at the same time you know so while you installing you can add uh, another three slot with uh, inter uh, gigabit Ethernet so this is the slot zero up to slot 3 so this is the g0 slash 0 g1 slash 0 g2 slash 0 and gigabit ethernet 3 slash 0 so i prefer four interfaces okay and then you need to click ideally pc finder to prevent your 
CPU up to 100%, your real CPU, okay? If you don't use this one, it will be uh, checking. Um, Sometimes, if, if you uh, face the problem during this uh, ideal PC, it, it, it error you just do it again okay you just do it again it will be f uh, working fine so if you cannot see this message like you see the error message uh, you just do it again just cancel and repeat it again it will be okay for you okay so okay finish i have one router so i also need to add another manage switch okay new image here i use this router as a switch okay okay next here i will use this one as a switch because i want to do implementation on vlan etc Okay, like spanning tree. Okay, I just leave it default. Okay, just leave it like this. No need to change anything for the interfaces. But you cannot use the slot zero when you want to use the switch. You know, F zero slash zero, F zero slash one. You cannot use. Okay, just remember you can use from slot one next next and click here the same okay to prevent the cpu usage I just uh, take maybe less than one minute. Yeah, we are okay. Finish. Okay. Now we have uh, we have one router, one manage switch. And then I just want to test. Uh, I just want to test, and I want to show you we have able to start the device okay yeah now all green and we are running on gns3 vm okay then you can start implement your your network okay you can start implement your network you can drag and drop your nodes okay um one more thing one more thing um if i want to do the console okay and by default it's having the s size is smaller size okay it's too small for you either for me so if i want to change the size is bigger i go to here setting i go to general i just launch putty okay oh i go to appearance i change the size 12 i want to use this font i like this font okay then go okay then you go to session click on default and click on save and then cancel you close close okay and you start again it will be bigger you see it's bigger so one more thing uh, you see it's already enabled by default even switch 
after I click console, it's automatically um, enabled. You see, if you want to uh, turn off the on automatic enable, you just I remove the router. Open your explorer. Go to drive C, and uh, you go to folder user, and open the folder name of your user, and open GNS3 folder. And then go to config folder. Here are the configuration files. So this is for the router, and this is for the Ethernet switch. So I open uh, router first. Then you go to uh, the line with privilege level 15. You just add no privilege. And here also no privilege. And then you save. Okay. One more for the switch, the same. Okay. You scroll down. You will see the privilege. Where is it? Um, here. Privilege. You add no. Here you add no, and then you save. Okay, now go back to our GNS3 and then we try again to add a router and switch. Why I have uh, deleted uh, all the routers and switch? Because after you add here, the configuration file won't affect. So you need to delete and add the new one. So I start all the devices at once. When you want to start all devices at once, you just press here. And then if I want to go to console all at once, I click here also. It will open my solar putty as a tape. Okay. You will see the difference. Okay, you see, it's not uh, it's not bypass the enable. It's not automatically enable. You need to tap enable, then you can start configuration. Switch also, yeah. This is how you change the configuration of the uh, router and switch in GNS3. Okay, so please enjoy your implementation with your network Im simulation so thank you uh, for watching my video and please do subscribe and like and share thank you